Hi everyone, it's Nesta. Right now we're outside the Maraba Residences, an architectural gem designed by Pritzer Award-winning RCR Architects and is situated on the far eastern crescent of the Palm Jumeirah. Today we're going to be touring the penthouse which has access to its own private beach, swimming pool, spa and gym. And finally, a special thank you to Wasika and Radia for allowing us to tour this property. We'll leave their details in the description down below. So without further ado, let's just go take a look. So here we are, come in, let me show you around. So this is the entrance area and we're on the ninth floor. Now this is the only penthouse on this floor. So that elevator has private access all the way up to the top. Uh, this is the first door on your left is the guest bathroom. Now you have your double floating vanity and a cartel by Laufen water closet, which comes out of Switzerland. Now your first point of entry into the penthouse is the living room. So you have that view out onto the sea the architects who designed this building, their previous projects, and obviously this one, what they've done is they've melded the buildings into its surroundings. So right now from there or from the sofa, if you're looking out, it feels like you're already at sea. And you can see in the background, even with the jet skis and the boats, it looks amazing here. In the living room itself, all the sofa and the bed frames, they're all Divani coming from Italy. You have so many nice features here like the lighting which runs parallel with the AC recessed into the ceiling so it doesn't stand out too much. A marble lampshade here which is that two-tone contrast like fits in with that travertine so well. These large frameless steel doors open up so it creates this huge space in the winter when you want to open it and it has that view onto the beaches and that Dubai skyline as well. This is probably one of the best apartments that I've seen in Dubai till now. It's just so modern yet simplistic. It's not sort of overpowering. Now, if everybody wants to follow me, we'll head down to the other wing of the house. This corridor down here leads to all four bedrooms, which we'll show you later. What I do want to show you is this window here. So again, what those architects have done, they've created this window here, which when you're coming down from your bedrooms, it feels like you're walking out to sea. Now that's something I would love to do in the mornings when I'm running to get my early morning coffees. So this here, you have two parallel entries into your kitchen and dining area. But before we get there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the terrace, the maze room and the commercial kitchen, which is outside. Yes, you do have an outside in this penthouse as well. This here is a revolving door, which I found really cool. I've never seen one of those before, which leads you outside. If you wanna follow me, come this way. I'll hold the door for you so it doesn't smack you in the face. <laughs> Okay, so we'll close that. So this bit here, this is unfurnished, so you're free to interpret what you want to do with it. You mean, I mean, it's got a great view, so obviously you'd probably have some seating out here, which looks out onto the Burj Al Arab and to that Arabian Gulf. You could obviously use it as well as a outside area to train for as a gym or whatever you'd like. So follow me this way. We'll head, so around this side, on the left is the maids room. Now this is probably one of the nicest maids room that I've seen till now. You have travertine floors throughout, frosted glass to your bathroom, and you have the glossed walls behind with that shower as well. This way though, we're going to the commercial kitchen. So this commercial kitchen or dirty kitchen as some people call it, has probably got one of the best views in the place. In here, some of the best equipment. So you have that commercial grade oven, you have the double fridge freezer, four gas hobs and a fryer if you like your fried chicken or fries. I'm trying to keep it healthy right now. Uh, on the front there as well, a commercial grade dishwasher. Let's head back to the real kitchen now. But along the way, let me tell you about some of the amenities this place has. So this place comes with its own private beach, which you share with the hotel across the road. It has a indoor gym, an indoor spa and an outdoor pool. But right now we're heading into that kitchen through that swiveling door again. 
So we're right back in this spot with those two parallel entrances and the living room to that way. Before we get started on the kitchen, I'll show you the first feature. So this is the oven and it's a Gaggenau oven. All the appliances here are Gaggenau, but it has this feature which I've not seen before. It's a touch to open, just like that and just a push to close. That's really cool. I've never seen one of those before. I'm like a kid with tech and stuff like that. Now, I love these open plan kitchen dining areas that, that they've just created here. In the center, this central island as well. This kitchen was made by Val Cucina. It's an Italian company, all imported in. Again, they've made some really cool features. Like, look at these drawers here. You open it up, the recessed lighting in lights it up. Also, let me show you as well, head back just a second. It doesn't have a drain in the sink as well. Now, I've tried to figure out what this is actually called. I called it an infinity drain or something, but I'm not quite sure. If you guys know, let me know about that. Here you have a fridge as well. Again, obviously fridges have lights in them, so it's opening up and a freezer at the bottom. Now, another cool feature is this Gaggenau convection cooktop. So if you look, you turn it on like this, and this is like a little magnetic spiral thing. What you do, you flick it over there like that, you turn it, and it changes like the, the, the setting on it, how hot or cold or what you want it. Not cold, you don't get cold ovens, do you? Above it, that induction fan, and all throughout the kitchen, so much storage space. What else you notice is that the kitchen cupboards and some of the walls, they're covered with, it's the gloss mirrored sort of cabinets, which actually reflects some of the light coming in, so it makes this space a lot more brighter. Now, the dining room is connected to the balcony here, which has the best view of the property, but we'll get there in just a second. Let's have a look in here first. So you have travertine floors throughout and a clean, minimalistic look, Italian-made dining table that seats eight. Also, again, those frameless steel doors, which are made by Skyframe. Now, you can tell what good quality this is, because look, I'm just using one finger and sliding it open. Now, these doors open. Oh, there's a big bang there. So these doors open all the way wide, not quite like the one in the living room. So you have entrances either side. So I'll open it fully just so you can see how it all is. And if you want to follow me out onto the balcony, let's go. So take a look at this. Look at these two. Again, the clean looking chairs with that modern simplistic look, looking out onto the Burj Al Arab. You can actually see the skyline in the back as well. It's just still that sandy, humid weather that we've seen before in our videos. See the other side, you can see the marina and another part of the Palm Jumeirah. Boats going by, this place honestly feels like a dream. I can't believe it. Now, if everybody wants to follow me this way, we're gonna go head back down that corridor and have a look at those four bedrooms. Along the way, also on the other side of this kitchen island, I'll show you, look, some more storage with that recessed in lighting. And again, those glossy cabinets reflecting that light in. Maraba Residence is actually situated on the end crescent of the palm, so like the top leaves, and it looks all the way out onto the Arabian Gulf. Now, along the way to the bedrooms, let me quickly show you this. Some hidden cabinetry, which fits seamlessly into the walls. You have lighting, you can put handbags there, shoes. It's stunning. Right now, the first door on your right is the first bedroom. So these two bedrooms are exactly the same. So I'll go into detail in the first bedroom and then we'll quickly go through the second bedroom. So come in, follow me. Now coming into the bedroom, it leads straight into the ensuite, but I'm gonna show you that in a minute because it has a really cool feature that I wanna save till the end. Let me show you the actual bedroom itself. So you have cupboards which are cover this whole side of the wall. So much storage space. Again, that lighting which turns on as you open it up. A Divani bed, again, coming from Italy. So minimalistic, yet so luxurious. It feels really nice in here. But hold on a second. I'm gonna run through this way and I'll show you that really cool feature. So, pan that way. So look, from the bedroom, you can actually see into your walk-in shower. Now, above that walk-in shower, you have that rain head. And below, you also notice, again, just like in the kitchen, it's an infinity drain. I'm still not sure if it's called that. But this side, as well in glass, you have the water closet and the huge floating vanity with that large mirror. Again, that recessed lighting with the AC as well up there. So now let's head out and look at the second bedroom, which is very similar. Before, though, I have something to show you. Across the hall, this is your storage room. So this is where you have your sort of washing machine and you keep your towels. Very nice in here. Probably one of the nicest store rooms that I've seen as well till now. So come along with me. Let's take a look. 
Now again, in the second bedroom, it's just like the first bedroom, except you have a little chair here, which is a small detail, but it does sort of change the toilet a little bit. Uh, in the bedroom itself, it's a slightly different bed. Again, Divani, but it has that cushioned back and slightly lowered. You have the storage that covers this whole back wall with the recessed lighting inside. It looks amazing. But one feature that there is in here, which I didn't show you in the first bedroom. So if you come along with me into the bathroom, every room is automated. So you have these remotes. And if you want to black out or put blinds down, you press this button here. And it should come down. So this room all blacks out. All the rooms have this, even the living room, it's all automated. Let's not do that so we don't lose too much light. Let's put that back up. Okay, I think I got it working. All right, now, so let's head back out. We'll head into the junior suite of the penthouse. So the junior suite of the penthouse is slightly larger than both those rooms. Again, as you come in, it leads straight into the bathroom. I'll show you the bathroom first because we've already seen that feature that I showed you. Now in the bathroom, a huge floating vanity. Again, this one has a water closet and a bidet to the side. A lot of people are very fussy about that. Again, that walk-in shower, but what you do have, is there a glass here? No, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> Uh, so what we do have is a tub. Now imagine soaking and looking out onto the Palm Jumeirah. This is a stunning feature that I love. Right now, let's try and not get my face too wide as I walk by. We'll head into the bedroom. Now down the entrance hallway, this whole wall is lined with storage. Again, it opens up with that recessed lighting, some extra push to open shelves. And what you can do is, oh, you can see through because you have storage on the other side of the wall. You can see through, which I don't know, I think maybe it's just like you can see all your clothes so you sort of know what you have. Again, these controllers here, which control the blinds, I guess in the mornings here, it's quite bright. Look at the light coming in through here. You can see out onto the Palm Jumeirah and that huge Atlantis Royal Hotel, which is still not been quite opened. And it's got some amazing penthouses there. If you guys want to see those penthouses, please like, write some emails, spam to those guys and we'll tour it for you. In the bedroom itself, sort of a super low profile bed with the low profile side tables. This place gives me such a feeling like it's like a Japanese, minimalistic, Swedish. It's a really good energy in here. So if you come back down with me, let's head into the primary bedroom. So from that junior bedroom just behind you, we're entering into the primary bedroom. You have a window here that's looking out onto that hotel that has that private beach that I was telling you about earlier. As we come in, we're not going straight into that ensuite bathroom. We're going into the walk-in wardrobe. So this is fitted out either side with those Rimadesio cabinets, which you've seen throughout the house that have those glossy mirrored covers. This wall as well, again, it reflects that light, which bring, makes this whole place more warm and brighter. Again, another sliding door, which leads into that ensuite bathroom. Now, if you have a look, this is even larger than the junior suites. You have that floating vanity with the really large sink, the double vanity here. But look at this shower. So much there, it's gotta be at least two meters as you walk in here, which looks out again onto that bedroom. You have a bathtub as well as you did with the junior suite and the toilet and the bidet. Now let's head back out further down that corridor towards the primary bedroom. I don't know if I mentioned this, but all these cabinets throughout the property, they are magnetic soft closing, which is a really cool feature. And there's actually so much storage in this place. And because it's so, so well integrated, it's sometimes hidden. I might have missed a couple on the way. I don't know if you noticed it in the video, we'll see. But in the actual primary bedroom, it is huge. You have that carpet underneath the bed. Now this is a king size bed, but it feels so much bigger with these skirtings on the side and they're quite soft. We have a friend who always complains about banging his leg, so I'm sure he would love that. Outside as well, it looks onto that Palm Jumeirah. Again, with those frameless steel doors coming out of Switzerland. Look how easy it is to pull. There's some road works going on down there, so hopefully that noise isn't too bad for you on the other side. But just check out that view. The sun's coming down now. Over there, you can see the Ain Dubai right in the background with the Dubai Marina and obviously that Atlantis Royal. Just over there is your private beach, which is connected to your hotel. So now that we've finished in the penthouse, let's head to the ground floor and have a look at the spa, the outdoor pool and the indoor gym. Right now, we're heading back from the penthouse down to the main entrance. If you remember, that's where we started our video. 
this is the two walkways that lead to either wing of the building. Now, either side of the building, you have so four penthouse in total, two on this side, two on that side, and the ones on the eighth floor, so they have five bedrooms, and the ones on the ninth floor, they have four bedrooms. Now, the walkway up to the main lobby of the building is, again, that minimalistic zen feeling that you have with the huge palm trees either side and those mirrored windows. But let's head inside to that spa area and the gym. So as you come into the lobby area, you have your own concierge service, which is available to you 24 seven. Now, Anil there has been looking after us all day, bringing us coffees, keeping us awake. This is some of the nicest stuff, but let's continue on into the gym area. So this is the access to the female spa and the male spa. We'll show you those just before we head out to the pool. Let me show you the main feature, which is this fully equipped gym with Techno Gym equipment, Elico and Concept 2. And in the background there, as you're working out, you can look out onto the Burj Al Arab and the Dubai skyline with the sea. If you can see, there's that boat going by. It feels so nice in here. Also, another room with even more state-of-the-art equipment. Some little amenities that they give you as well, which sort of lifts this place up. It's like the cucumber water, strawberry water. Such great service from the Maraba team. Now, let's head into the male spa, because the female spa is exactly the same. They're mirrored, except for the male spa has that view onto the pool and the, the sea and everything. So as you come in, you can see it's quite similar to the bathrooms upstairs, but you have lockers here, obviously a double floating vanity. And across from here, you have two walk-in showers, but these have frosted glass, unlike the bathrooms upstairs. So you do have privacy down here in the spa area itself. I thought it was humid outside, but it gets even more humid in here. So you have that jacuzzi lined with that travertine marble built into the floor with a steam room and a sauna. But if we head back out dead quick, because I'm starting to sweat so much, let's go out to the pool and have a look. So as you walk out into the pool area, the views are simply breathtaking. You can see out all the way into the Arabian Gulf because we're on that end crescent under the palm, looking out onto the Burj Al Arab and the skyline over there. This again, as with the same theme with the designers of the building, it feels so calm with the white travertine and the white sun lounges here. So this pool is 1.5 meters deep and 50 meters long. It has that really cool feature in the middle of those trees coming out of the floor. And you see these hedges there because we're right next to the main road. They put these hedges up so you have that privacy as well. At the end of the pool, there's that covered area with the open space right next to it with some shade underneath. I'd love to stay here because it is absolutely roasting outside. But for you guys, I'm going to end this video with that view in the background. So before we finish, I'd like to give again a massive thank you to Wasika and Radia for allowing us to tour this property and a special thank you to you guys who've been watching. If you've enjoyed this video, again, please like and subscribe. Now, let's head out.